So here we have some data of students and the results. Now I want to create a bar chart to represent these values. Now one way we can do this is through the repetition formula, also known as the rept function. And the way we do that is by pressing equals rept open bracket. Now for text, I'm going to press speech mark and this key right there, which is next to shift on the keyboard. Then pressing speech mark again, comma, and now the number of times I want this particular text to repeat, that will be 50. And then close the bracket and press enter. As you can see, that particular icon or key has repeated 50 times. But I want to convert this into a bar chart. The way we do that is by selecting it, changing the font to Playbill, and then pressing Enter, and increase the size until it looks like a bar. There we go. Then drag it all the way down, and then each of these values will represent a particular bar chart. So for example, if I change this to 90, the bar will increase. We can also change the color by selecting them all and then changing it to a color of your choice. Now let's suppose we've got a rating system within Excel and we want to create a score for each one using the same formula. The way we do that is as follows. So again, equals, rept, open bracket, then the speech mark. Now there's a slight tweak here. You have to press the Windows button and the full stop together. That will open this emoji tab. Then select star, comma, select the value, close the bracket and press enter. As you can see, a star will appear representing the value. Then simply drag that all the way down, change the color if you like. So I'm gonna go with a yellow and you will have a star representing the value in each field. And if I change this, let's say to three, this will also automatically update.